Good afternoon, Bucksters. Once again, you already know it is your boy, Bug, and I am back with another banger video for all of you to enjoy today. Boy, do I have a bunch of fun stuff planned for all of you guys today. Uh, it's it's gonna be a good one. This is gonna be like a different style video. We're gonna be doing a bunch of random stuff. I mean, like, you guys are just gonna be following me around all day today. So before we jump into this video, I want you guys to smash that like button. But you know me, we can't just use our, our fingers. That's just boring. I want you guys to use your knee, okay? Yes, your knee. Uh, if you're on a computer, I don't care if you have to crawl up onto your desk, uh, if your phone, your iPad, whatever you're watching this on, 2,000 likes using your knee. Let's get it, no cheating. If you are following me on Snapchat, I mean, if you're not, go add me, it'll be right here. But if you are following me on Snapchat, you would have seen that I washed my truck yesterday and got it all shined up. Ooh, just look at that shine. This thing is looking so freaking juicy and the reason for that being is I am going to a truck show today for the four wheel parts uh, they're the ones that lined me up with pro comps and they hooked it up with the lift kit for my truck so I'm going out to Ogden Utah today we're gonna show up there represent the truck I posted on my snapchat too that I was going so hopefully I get to meet some of you guys shake your hands I know I, I love meeting my fans figured I'd give you guys that booty shot just real quick to get your day started Alicia how many likes on today's video 2000 all right, and then is that why you're wearing the the holy knee pants because you're you know You're supposed to use your knee, right? Yeah See she's already ahead of the game you guys we just arrived to this like four by four Show whatever you want to call it and I have to say just looking around. This is an awesome turnout. I'm stoked for these guys um, So we're gonna hop out. We'll walk around. We'll check out some vehicles. I'll show you guys some Jeeps trucks uh, Classic trucks anything that's here that I think you guys would enjoy I'm gonna show you also I forgot to mention if you guys are tuning into the channel for your first time today Don't forget to scroll down and hit that subscribe button with post notifications on so you can be up to date and notified when I am posting banger videos because you guys already know that's the only videos I post is bangers after this automotive show we're heading back to the shop because there is a new diesel project yes a new diesel project that I have not even talked about on snapchat Instagram or anything and it is going to be one of YouTube's biggest diesel projects that I can't wait for you guys to see so definitely stay tuned all right so parking was full in the actual parking lot so we are hanging off the side of the road hey Trying to vlog, bud. We got some some Jeep with the big old bear chilling on top. I have to say, this so far is one of my favorite looking vehicles here. What do you think of this one? Is it. this the one you want? Wow. So. Everything's all painted that really cool illusion purple or powder coated. This thing is dope. Here is my fellow Dodge family. We got the newer fourth gen Dually. Then we got third gen body style, both looking good. This is Edge's truck with the American Force wheels all shined up. I have spotted yet another fellow member of the Dodge Cummins family. He even has his tow mirrors up. I salute to you. You guys, I want you to guess the year of this, this current truck right now. All right, everyone's gonna be like, oh, it's an 06 to 09. Nope, you are wrong. This is an 05 with an 07 front clip swap. He's got a fourth gen tailgate, everything's paint matched, the bumpers, and he's got like this bronzish copper accent going on around the truck, which fits it really well. Like, I don't know, that copper bronze color with the red looks perfect. But these are the current owners. You guys got any, what's your names? Chad. Amber. Chad, Amber, shout out to anyone. Uh... Wasatch Off-Road. Off All right, off you hear him, Wasatch Off-Road, shouting them out. Shout out to the Bugman. To the bug man. Tell all these guys to go like the video, come on. Go like the video. Don't like it. See, you guys, you know, then yeah, if you, get well, you know what I mean? you, listen to these guys, they know what they're talking about. I want to give a shout out to our daughter too, Alexis. We love you, baby. Dude, it's nice meeting you, man. See you around for sure. You guys, if you ever see me in public, pull me aside and say, what's up, bug? Let's grab a quick pic. I love meeting the ones that support me, and that was one of my uh, fans that I just met. Super cool dude. But you guys, like I said, if you ever see me in person, just say, what's up? For, for this is for all my car guys. I know I got some of you guys still on the channel. I know I'm all truck stuff, but I got to I gotta get that car clip for you all. Look at this machine. I, this is what I need on the channel so I can just run whatever I want over that is in my way. 
But like I mentioned, there's a new truck on the channel. It is similar to this in size, but it is completely different than this truck, if that makes sense. See, this is the cool stuff, not the stupid the, What do you mean this is the cool stuff? No, that, excuse me, that over there. That is the cool too. stuff. This, okay, I'm just kidding. For all my Jeep guys and off-road buddies, this stuff is super cool. I think I do need something like this in the future though. I changed my mind. I found the best looking vehicles. We have the brand new Lambo Aventador. We have a McLaren here. We have a Ferrari here. And then this is the new Bugatti. And I just have to say, I did not think there was gonna be any exotics at this show. Gotta get the Ford clip for all my Ford guys out there. I know I'm always joking and teasing about Ford because you know I'm a hardcore Cummins guy, but gotta give respect this is one clean looking truck so we know we just got done walking around we've looked at all the vehicles um i didn't show you guys all of them but i am going to make a little montage with some music right now They hooked it up pretty fat with some free uh, pulled pork sandwiches. So we eat, I believe that's gonna be a wrap for here. Then we're gonna head up to the shop and you guys finally get to see the new project. Like, when I say it's gonna be like one of the biggest diesel projects on YouTube, I'm not lying. The engine of this diesel truck is ginormous. All right, bye. Bye Clifford, I will, I'll be right back, okay, I promise. <laughs> Just before we head to the shop, you already know we have to get that quick pit stop at the local Jamba Juice. Gotta get all them vitamins and I don't know, it just sounded good. We're offering, offering. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it is so good. Someone in a red power stroke just went across this intersection here in Clinton, Utah, shouted bug BMX and floored it, rolled some coal, dude. Rock on. You can all tell we have now made it to the shop, which it is time for the big reveal. I hope you guys can't see it at the angle. Okay, you guys can't see it. But it's time for the big reveal of the new diesel project on the channel. What do you think, Alicia? Do you think I uh, you don't even know what they're gonna think of it, huh? Do you think any of them are like any closes on guesses? All right, before I show you, I want you guys to scroll down and comment what you think it is, okay? I'll, I'll wait, go ahead. Come on, you guys, go down, comment, let me know what you think it is. Don't cheat and comment after you see it. Let's, let's do this the fair way. All right, here we go. Like, do you think they're ready? Yeah. All right, here we go, you guys. We'll, we'll walk over to it right now. Good thing I got my work shoes on. Here you go, give me a countdown. Three, two, one, bam! There is the, n oh, wait, what, what? All right, I'm just teasing you. Here is the legit project. You ready? Yeah. Here we go, I'm gonna turn the cam camera around to on one. Three, two, one, bam! What the, and yes, that is correct. That is a fire truck for those of you who didn't know what a fire truck is. And yes, this is the new project for the channel. A freaking fire truck with a giant diesel engine that you are all about to see. I'm gonna give you a tour, should talk to you about it, show you to you, and tell it, tell you, oh, I'm speaking so fast because I'm so freaking, I gotta calm down. Calm down, bug, calm down. It's just a fire truck, all right. Anyways, I'm so freaking excited to show you guys the fire truck and give you a tour and tell you everything we're going to be doing to it. Partners with a gentleman on this fire truck and he brought it to us and he wanted us to do the full 
really a restoration. So the fire truck is going to be getting a whole new paint job soon. Um, all these graphics will be being removed and stickers. And I'll be doing videos on that throughout the week on like other videos too. So I'll be bouncing back from this to my truck, but all in like the same video. But he wants to put a hot tub up in the back. Like you guys, this thing is going to be insane. What other YouTuber has a fire truck diesel engine on their channel that they're doing a project with. Like, come on, you guys, I told you, your boy book is always going above and beyond, full send. I will give you guys a tour of the fire truck for now. This is like Clifford's grandpa, like big old grandpa. Anyways, got our radio, we got all the sirens, with all of our gauges, the shifter from reverse drive, park all that this thing even has a giant jake break and then yeah this is what it's like honestly i have never ever been in a fire truck before so this is my first time but we got the back seats oh shit come on let's go guys i'll give you more of a tour all right here is the back seat for you know your entire squad to chill just imagine you get a call okay so we have alicia is the driver of the firefighter truck you're getting a call like oh no my cat's stuck in a tree your whole squad gets in here, you're all bumping to some 21 Savage or something, cruising down, gonna go save some old lady's cat. Like, it doesn't get any cooler than that. Don't worry, man, we will get your cat out of that tree. Up here is where you can work all the hoses and pressures and all that stuff, I believe, have not yet used it. Or if you wanna come up here and just play a quick game of Mario Kart versus your friend, yeah, you can do that here as well. Here on the back is like, where you have, you know, a couple of those homies, like they're pretty close homies, but you haven't talked for a while and they want to cruise along with you. This is where you'd put them. And then um, you already know, we got tons of hoes riding with us. It has been a few days since the fire truck has ran. So I'm going to start it up for you guys to give you a quick little cold start. And we are in full force of driving the fire truck. First time ever driving one of these. So quite a bit bigger than Clifford, but it's working. We got this. It's now time to show you under the hood. Now this isn't just every day, oh, let's just pop the hood. Let me show you how this works. Come with me. So first, we open up this. Oh yeah, just like that. And then there's a button right here. And it is set. You guys, just look at the size of that engine. Big old Detroit Diesel Series. Wow, it is, it's just insane how big it is compared to like my 6.7 Cummins, which is the inline six. And I mean, even the, the turbo on this thing is ginormous. I think I need that same size turbo on my Cummins exhaust, AKA the downpipe comes right out of the turbo right on down and it comes to this muffler aka the fun hater if you guys want me to straight pipe this because like i said we can do whatever we want to it comment down below saying straight pipe the fire truck and we will make it happen you know so comment like and we'll straight pipe it and this thing will just sound so freaking good this thing with the straight pipe would be 10 to 20 times louder than my Cummins with the five inch straight pipe just because the size of the engine. So again, comment down below if you want us to straight pipe it. I will drop the cab hood, whatever. I, I mean, and it's, it's a cab, but it's kind of a hood because it's over the engine. But we will drop that back down. Me and Alicia will go for a quick little ride. I'll even, I might let her drive it. I don't know yet. She's, she's driven some big trucks like mine, but I don't know if she's driven anything this big. Look at it, it's like, it came to a stop and it's just like looking at something on the floor like, oh look, a penny. Alicia, what do you say? Do you think it's time we, we take this thing for a spin? Yes. A quick little cruise down the road maybe? Go go stop some fires? All right, this is Big Rig Bunk. We are coming to the rescue, just a little tight. Don't worry, we will get your cat out of that tree, man. We are on our way. All right, we are off. First time driving a fire truck. Sing steers very wide. Similar to like my the Dodge steering wheel, uh, power-wise, 
I think the truck needs some mechanical tuning and definitely needs that straight pipe exhaust. All right, here goes Alicia's first time driving the fire truck. All right, are you gonna drive? Yeah. All right, let's give her some gas. There you go, just like that, you are now driving a fire truck. These things are so cool. Dang, that is so funny. Look at how small my truck is. Now remember, my truck is sitting on a total of nine inches of lift with 24 inch wheels and 37s, and it is just puny next to this thing. A whole crazy sound system inside, tint the windows. Like this thing is going to look awesome when it's done. First things first, it needs to be straight piped. Every diesel needs to be straight piped, and this will sound so amazing with a straight pipe. So if you guys want to see that, go down below and comment straight pipe the fire truck and if this video gets the 2000 like goal it will happen before this video does come to a complete end i gotta give them instagram shout outs if you guys aren't familiar with the instagram shout outs all you have to do is go follow me on instagram and send me a direct message of your vehicle whether it's a car a truck or a horse and then you have a chance for it to be featured so for the ones that have done it here is this video's instagram shout outs right here If you ever want your car, truck, or horse featured in any of my future vlogs, just do those steps I was just talking about. Other than that, it is going to be a wrap for today's video. I truly hope every single one of you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, scroll down, smash that like button, helps the video grow, and it shows me that you appreciate the videos, and it'll help us get to our 2000 goal so we can straight pipe the old fire truck. And you guys, don't cheat. Remember, you gotta use your knee, huh, Alicia? They gotta use their knee. Show them, show them where their knee is. See that? Those are your knees. <laughs> so, we need a name for the fire truck, so comment down below if you guys have a name for this fire truck. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you all. Thank you so much for the great support. You guys are killing it on the likes and the comments. I love you. I'm going to keep doing this. We're going to keep grinding. Other than that, your boy Bug loves you. We are out. See you next time. Peace.